My name is Oren Prunkin and I'm going to be the facilitator for this weekend. I'm going to start with a backstory of how Startup Weekend came to Adelaide. Back in June or July of last year, Dave Trum, the other co-organiser and myself, found out about the very first Sydney startup event that was happening about four days before. We ended up booking our flights and our tickets and flying over there. We had an amazing experience, met a ton of people, and then we said, Adelaide needs something like this. So after the next five months, what we did was really built up to the very first event, making connections, contacts, working out how we'd run it. We stumbled and failed a lot. We actually ran a startup weekend like a startup. We learned as we went. So here we are again, and I guess the market has said we did another one in, in 2012. So over this weekend, we've got our Twitter hashtag, which is SWADL, Startup Weekend Adelaide. If you can use that, that would be great. We actually, I'll announce something about Twitter hashtags in a minute, but keep that in mind. If you want to jump on Facebook as well, it's facebook.com slash Startup Weekend Adelaide, of course. And we'll hand out um, Wi-Fi codes probably tomorrow. So people come to Startup Weekend for a range of different reasons. Some want to learn a new skill outside the 9 to 5. Others just like making stuff. <coughs> people want to meet a co-founder or just meet new people. Others want to find out if their idea is viable. And the last thing is people just want to have fun. Next I'd like to introduce Stephen Nalwood, the Lord Mayor of Adelaide City Council. Stephen is a town planner with 20 years of experience in state and local government. Stephen has dedicated his time to developing life within City. But uh, look, I just wanted to say Adelaide City Council is really proud to be a part of this. We do genuinely take uh, innovation and entrepreneurialism uh, really, really seriously and uh, don't believe everything you read in the media about the City Council. What I did want to uh, really uh, make you think about is what the city's doing in terms of entrepreneurialism. Uh, you know, the city is changing physically and it's because we really are trying to genuinely see uh, a culture change in our community that says that we can actually do things and we can do things differently uh, and we can do things working together here in Adelaide to be globally competitive. So if you look at all the food, because it's very easy to say we support it, uh, but you know, how are we doing it? Well, if you look at all the food carts around the city, a great example uh, of young business people uh, who are actually starting their own businesses, doing things differently, <coughs> often using social media uh, to actually bring the city to life. And if you uh, consider a lot of the other things we're doing, tables and chairs and activating the, the streets and the parklands, uh, but also things like the street art. None of this is, and the live music, I really want to stress, none of this is a coincidence. This is a conscious effort to make the city uh, a nicer place for more people to spend time. In fact, for me, it's a conscious place to make the city cooler. Uh, I'd like to remind a whole pile of um, stiff people in suits that entrepreneurs these days don't uh, wear suits and ties. They play in rock bands and do their work on cafes. Uh, so I think it's really important that uh, we actively um, see this opportunity for change uh, in our city. Well, uh, for me, the message I'd like to share with you is that you are here to crack a code. 